Our world teems with life, a delicate web of interconnected ecosystems. Within this web exist remarkable organisms known as bioindicators. These organisms serve as living barometers, reflecting the health of their surrounding environment. Like tiny detectives, bioindicators provide valuable clues about the state of our planet. Imagine a pristine mountain stream, its clear waters rushing over rocks. The presence of certain types of insects like mayflies and stoneflies tells us the water is clean and healthy. These creatures are highly sensitive to pollution and would not survive in tainted waters. On the other hand, an overabundance of algae in a lake might indicate an excess of nutrients, often from agricultural runoff. This imbalance can lead to harmful algal blooms, depleting oxygen and harming aquatic life. Bioindicators help us detect these changes before they become irreversible. By studying bioindicators, we gain a deeper understanding of the intricate relationships within ecosystems and the impact of human activities on the natural world. They are essential tools for environmental monitoring, conservation, and ultimately, the preservation of our planet. Bioindicators are living organisms that provide information about the health of an ecosystem. They can be plants, animals, or even microorganisms. Each species has a specific range of environmental conditions in which it can thrive. Changes in these conditions, such as pollution, habitat loss, or climate change, can impact the health and abundance of bioindicator species. Their presence, absence, or changes in their populations or behavior can alert us to problems in the environment. For example, the presence of certain species of lichen on trees indicates good air quality. Lichens are sensitive to sulfur dioxide, a common air pollutant. In areas with high levels of air pollution, these lichens will be absent. Bioindicators can also tell us about the quality of water, soil, and even the health of entire ecosystems. By observing these living indicators, we gain a window into the overall well-being of our planet. The concept of bioindicators is not new. For centuries, people have observed the natural world to understand environmental changes. One of the most well-known examples is the use of canaries in coal mines. Miners used to carry caged canaries into the mines to detect the presence of deadly gases, such as carbon monoxide. Canaries are highly sensitive to these gases and would become sick or die before humans could detect them. This early warning system saved countless lives. Today, we use a wider range of bioindicators to monitor a variety of environmental threats. These living sentinels provide us with crucial information to protect both human health and the health of our planet. There are many different types of bioindicators, each with its own strengths and limitations. Some bioindicators are sensitive to a wide range of environmental stresses, while others are highly specialized. One way to classify bioindicators is by their trophic level or position in the food chain. For example, top predators, such as eagles and wolves, can indicate the health of the entire food web. If their populations are declining, it could suggest problems at lower levels of the food chain. Another way to classify bioindicators is by their sensitivity to specific environmental stressors. For example, some aquatic invertebrates are highly sensitive to changes in water temperature or pH. Their presence or absence can indicate the health of aquatic ecosystems. Section 5. From lichens to leopards. Examples of bioindicators in action. Let's explore some specific examples of bioindicators in action. Lichens, as mentioned earlier, are sensitive to air pollution, particularly sulfur dioxide. Their presence or absence on trees and rocks can indicate air quality. Mayflies and stoneflies are highly sensitive to water pollution. Their presence in streams and rivers indicates good water quality. Frogs are amphibians, which means they live both on land and in water. This makes them particularly susceptible to environmental changes. Declining frog populations have been linked to habitat loss, pollution and climate change. Bees are important pollinators, and their decline has raised concerns about the health of ecosystems and food security. Factors such as pesticide use, habitat loss and climate change are thought to be contributing to their decline. Top predators such as wolves and eagles can indicate the health of the entire food web. Their decline can signal problems at lower trophic levels. These are just a few examples of the many bioindicators used by scientists to monitor the health of our planet. Section 6. Reading the signs. How bioindicators help us understand environmental health. 
Bioindicators provide valuable information that helps us understand the health of our environment. They can tell us the presence and concentration of pollutants. Some bioindicators accumulate pollutants in their tissues. By analyzing these tissues, scientists can determine the type and level of pollution in the environment. Changes in biodiversity, the presence or absence of certain bioindicator species, can indicate changes in biodiversity. A decline in biodiversity can signal a decline in ecosystem health. The effectiveness of conservation efforts. Bioindicators can be used to monitor the effectiveness of conservation efforts. For example, an increase in the population of a threatened species could indicate that conservation measures are working. By monitoring bioindicators over time, scientists can track changes in environmental conditions and identify potential problems early on. This information is crucial for making informed decisions about environmental management and conservation. Section 7. The Power of Observation Monitoring and Protecting Our Planet with Bioindicators Bioindicators are essential tools for environmental monitoring. They provide a cost-effective and efficient way to assess the health of ecosystems. Instead of relying solely on expensive and time-consuming chemical analyses, scientists can use bioindicators to get a quick snapshot of environmental conditions. Biomonitoring programs, which use bioindicators to track environmental changes, are becoming increasingly common around the world. These programs provide valuable data that can be used to identify and monitor pollution sources. By tracking the presence and abundance of pollution-sensitive bioindicators, scientists can pinpoint sources of pollution and assess the effectiveness of pollution control measures. Assess the impact of human activities. Bioindicators can be used to assess the impact of human activities, such as agriculture, urbanization, and climate change on ecosystems. Develop and evaluate conservation strategies. Biomonitoring data can be used to develop and evaluate conservation strategies aimed at protecting biodiversity and ecosystem health. By using bioindicators to monitor our environment, we can make more informed decisions about how to protect our planet for future generations. Section 8. Challenges and Considerations – Limitations of Using Bioindicators while bioindicators are powerful tools for environmental monitoring, there are also some limitations to consider. Specificity. Some bioindicators are highly specific to certain pollutants or environmental stresses. This means that they may not be effective indicators of other types of environmental problems. Variability. Natural variations in populations and environmental conditions can make it challenging to interpret bioindicator data. Time lags. Some bioindicators may take time to respond to environmental changes. This means that they may not provide an immediate warning of a problem. Despite these limitations, bioindicators remain valuable tools for environmental monitoring. By carefully selecting and using bioindicators, scientists can overcome these challenges and gain valuable insights into the health of our planet. Section 9. A call to action. The future of bioindicators and environmental stewardship. As we face increasing environmental challenges, the role of bioindicators in understanding and protecting our planet becomes even more crucial. We must continue to invest in research and monitoring programs that utilize these living barometers. The future of bioindicators lies in developing new and innovative ways to harness their power. This includes integrating bioindicator data with other environmental monitoring techniques, such as remote sensing and chemical analyses. Ultimately, the use of bioindicators is about more than just collecting data. It's about fostering a deeper understanding of our interconnectedness with the natural world. By paying attention to the subtle cues of bioindicators, we can become better stewards of our planet and ensure a healthy future for all.